Khadija Nicole and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I want to share with you guys how I wrap my natural hair to preserve it in this straight style. I want to make it last for about a week or two, so I do wrap my hair. And this was a go-to when I was relaxed. I would always wrap my hair every night to make the style last. So if your hair is straight without any type of curl in it, you still want to wrap it so that it still comes out every day just straight, no lumps and bumps in it. If you do have a curl to your hair, you also want to wrap it because the wrap is going to help those curls last like a lot more days. When you don't um, wrap your hair when it is curled, the curls just, they don't last as long. So wrapping your hair is really good for when it is straightened. So I'm gonna share with y'all how I wrap my hair and it's basically like the same way I used to do it when I was relaxed, like I said. Yeah, let's get to it, I'm about to go to bed. But um, it definitely is a little bit, well, it's not different, but my hair is a lot longer now than when I was relaxed. So what I like to use is a nice, good brush. One like this um, dimming type of brush or like a, uh, what's it called a paddle brush those are some good brushes to use for wrapping your hair and then also I like to use some hair clips and these help me to clip it as I'm working around my hair to get the wrap I don't leave these in my hair though and I don't use bobby pins because I feel like sometimes bobby pins can leave little lines in it so by not leaving any type of clipping your hair it's gonna make sure it's just completely straight no lumps and bumps at all and then of course you're gonna want to have some type of scarf to keep your hair preserved and lay completely flat and i just use a dual rag because you know what i'm saying it got the the laces and it just lays real nice and good and then on top of that i like to put a bonnet as well just some extra preservation you know protection and all of that good stuff so first of all i like to go ahead and make sure my hair is nicely brushed out don't want to have any tangles or anything so brush those out if there are any Go all around my head. All right, so I do wanna add that there is different ways. Well, not different. So you can either wrap your hair to going to the left or you can wrap it going to the right. And by doing those two different techniques, it'll either give you more volume on whichever side. So I usually like to wrap mine, which way I do it? I think I do it this way so that when I bring my hair back down, because I wear it to this side, as you guys can see, by wrapping it this way and then bringing it back down the next day is going to give me that volume, you know? So if it's wrapped this way and then you brush it back out, it's going to be like volume right here. But yeah, so once everything is nice and brushed out, I just like to brush it all the way out over my face. Some people will go ahead and start wrapping it within this, but lately I've just been brushing it all down like this. Make myself look like the grudge. And once it's all brushed out like this, you want to pick which side you want to wrap to. Like I said, I'm going to wrap mine to this side. So I kind of start brushing this way. Kind of get a little area here going. And just start wrapping like this. And I will say when you first straighten your hair, your hair is going to be a lot flowier because you don't have a lot of product in it so it can be a little bit harder because now that my hair has been straightened like this for like a week the natural oils have started to come down my hair so it kind of gives the strands a little bit more weight that they can like kind of compact stick together or something I don't know but the uh clips are going to help you as well so once I get about here I go ahead and insert a clip just to hold it and I continue and just keep using your hands to hold it and just brush now I know some people can get this mad perfect but it doesn't have to be super perfect you just want it to look pretty flat I go ahead and put my other clip right here. Then brush this. 
and my clip is up under here so I'm going to remove it and then continue brushing and anytime you feel like you need to place a clip you can but I've gotten pretty good with it that I don't need to keep placing so many and my hair like I said has some of the natural oils in it so it's just kind of staying now as you all can see so there's that and I'm gonna leave this one right here and well I'm not gonna leave it but just for right now go ahead and get my do-rag throw this bad boy up here and then I'm gonna pull the clip out so now I don't have any clips no type of bobby pins or nothing it's gonna be nice and smooth you know, just go ahead and tie my do-rag up. I don't want to tie it too tight because you don't want to give yourself a headache. But I bring them forward, crisscross it, and then tie it in the back. That's good. Kind of move this up. Get my ears out. Don't want to be hurting them. All right. Get my bonnet. Put this on. And she's ready to go to bed. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much all I gotta do. Real quick and easy. Once you get the hang of the whole wrapping motion and learning how to put in the clips to help you, you know, get that shape going, it's easy. And I'm telling you, it really helps with making your Straight hairstyles last longer, and every day it's gonna come out looking nice. Don't have no lumps and bumps in your hair. Your curl styles are gonna last longer. It's still gonna have the body in them, all of that. So it is the next day. All I do is take my bonnet off, go ahead and untie my do-rag. off nicely here is nicely wrapped I'm kind of shake it out and just start working this down get my brush brush it all out And I really just like for mine to have a natural like flipped over part. So that's why I just flip my hair over. But you could also do a middle part if you want to wear a middle part. But your girl loves a side part. Also, if your hair doesn't have as much um, natural oils up in it, it'll like fall down like super easy. You won't even have to brush it out really. It'll just, you shake it and it'll just start falling out. But um, like I told y'all, my hair has been like this for a week. So it's starting to feel a little oily so this next part I'm gonna do is completely optional but I have been into doing my edges up a little bit you know just give it a little swoop swoop I don't use gel on it because that would definitely revert the hair it'll start crinkling back up to your natural texture so I just use some control gel this kind of does it a little bit but not really like how gel would because gel is like a lot of water in it so yeah I'm just gonna use some of this control gel by a lot of body I don't do this all the time like I said it's optional just if I want to give a little pizzazz So that is how I preserve and wrap my natural hair to make my style last and to keep it looking nice and slayed and laid and straight 
fried and dyed and laid to the side but um yes guys that's how i wrap my natural hair um if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you go ahead and give it a thumbs up helps your girl out if you haven't already make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button below and join the team right after that make sure you hit that notification bell so that you are instantly notified whenever i post a new video here on my channel also let me know in the comments if you still wrap your hair when you straighten it if you're natural if you're relaxed to let your girl know. With all that being said, your girl is out. Deuces.